Yeah, Are forex is covered to you one and Mara Moscrini. Since we were regulated, welcome to Daily Tater. Nagalina Kitumelo Storo Samatomo Saramoto. A very, very interesting topic, Ellen, I have to say, was uh, in demand on yep. social media. We need to talk about this because Varu Tumelo had a civil forex trading key here in Siravanabat on Facebook, pumping us and hyping us up to actually join and be a part of it. King, keep forever living, keep having life, keep Bitcoin. What is going on? Well, today we answer all those questions and more. Kabala Mukini Sandra and I'm trying to always say she YouTube is going about the forex trading and the forex lifestyle. But I'm going to go to if Ubugala go Instagram, Facebook, but then sell a lot of people who are not going to get the list. I'm going to go to the next one. You can fire your own boss. Yeah. What is the forex trading? That's what we're going to be finding out. I'm trying to get the next one. I'm going to get the next one. I'm going to get the next one. So now at home, we want to go to Guayama. We accept Benzela or I accept Benzela. If you accept Benzela, accept Benzela. That's what we're talking about on Daily Tech and Amstrad. Okay, Nitya, make sure you do call us live in studio. The number you got phone number is zero double one double three nine one three one five. Of course, or send us your voice notes, or remele your pictures, your videos, or even your forex platform. Rabano rogo, make it easy. Yeah, you can screen match it and screen grab it for us on zero six zero six seven nine. Six eight three five. Marfa like a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or always live. So make sure you become a part of it. But Kenny, let's talk to our audience members. As Kalegi on asking about Saya, now go to another cool. Who is this? Who is going to be on our team? What do they understand about the forest trading? Is it something about Azi or about Azi or Baga Bai Bona? But for Sugiaza as well. Let me go to you, brother man. Ubani Ikama and then Mr. Chelly. What do you know about forest trading? Okay, uh, my name is Karabo Yumba. Yes. Uh, I run a management consulting company called Maseko and Yumba Consultants, mm -hmm. and our business is business. Yeah. And in undergrad, I studied economics and econometrics, honors economics. And in a nutshell, I did a lot of forex trading. Mm. Uh, let's say education on forex. So it was over, done over a period of three mm. to four years. Sure. And what I understand, even when I was doing it, that I didn't understand it to the core, mm. you see, that it's something that is very volatile and it is, it's, it's, like, it's called speculating. Mm. So it's similar to gambling. Mm. So what I know, if you don't, understand it and you don't know it to the T, someone cannot give you a crash course or sell you a software that can make you millions. Overnight. How, how about Labantabati and uh, uh, Bazo trainer on, on and then after that you'll mm -hmm. understand everything. In fact, if you guys understand the cell phone, yeah. it's so easy for you to understand and to read the market and understand as well. So what I usually use as an example is, you know those Sangomas that say uh, win lotto numbers? Mm. Yeah. Yes, no, they ask SMS. you a question, do you want to yeah, win? Do you want to win load yeah. SMS this or call us yes. and pay that? That guy is exactly like that. He mm. just wants your money. It's, it's, it's short of a scam, you see, because most people pay brokers if they don't understand. They don't buy a crash course in it. Oh, wow. So they, I am against people saying that it's that easy, mm -hmm. even though it's a very legitimate market, it's very lucrative. And it's got a lot of money. I know a lot of people that have yeah. made a lot of money, and I know a lot of people that have lost a lot money of money as well, which is the reality. Mm. Well, let's come to the side and Kupar was a little bit on how, and and just tell us about um, you know some of the the the. I don't know, uh, things that people can look out for on yeah. social media, because I mean, they're everywhere, they're in our faces. Mm. I, I, I feel like Linda, as, as a Facebooker, mm. they're putting pressure on me because like, do you want to live the life? 
What was my guy? The uh, gold Bentley. Uh, what was my guy? Range Rover. And I'm like, I want it, man. But How do I get it? Come on, 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 come how do I look out for, you know, scammers? Yeah. Okay, good day, everyone. My name is Lebewana Lesutu. Uh, on regard with that question, number one, we have to know that Forex, it's a legitimate market. That's one thing that people have to understand. Right? So with mm. us, the black people, we have a problem of not wanting to understand the fundamental and the technical part of it. Mm. So mm. in that, we are bound to crash. Mm. So in everything, especially on Ntoibu, other people believe the minute I know Forex, I can be able to teach another person. Yes, yeah. you are right. You can be able to teach another person. But number one, you need to know that you are not a registered broker. Mm. So that's the problem that we have. Because what happens if I lose my money and I invest it through so you? So you have to be registered. Yes. Tell us the to... consumer. Can you check into yeah, yeah, well, I just go in there without even verifying. True that. So get on it. Because we are in this for a like quick money making scheme. Yeah. Mm. People for a mistaken Forex as a pyramid. It's not a pyramid. As that guy, actually, you cannot work, then not see your money. Yes, you're working because at the end of the day, remember, it's a life market. And you are not in control of the market at the end of the day. You have to go with the market for you to win. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let's come to you, CC. And as Katrin is saying, it's no thing. They make money through training than actually uh, trading. Yeah. Is that true? Definitely it is. Um, I, for once, I joined... Um, Forex trading through a company called iMicas Live. So what they mm. do, they give you information in regards to Forex trading. Yeah. And as well, you have to use the platform of network marketing that as, as soon as you join uh, a lot of people, yeah. you get incentivized for it. Like a pyramid scheme. A, a pyramid scheme. Okay. okay. So basically you pay for their knowledge, mm. but you are not guaranteed if it's going to be put in practice and you're going to get money from it. Mm. Ooh, that's wow. interesting. Bandung, bandung. So you can actually train mm. even if you're not trading. Yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, that's where you make yeah. money. You bring your bring more friends and then the more the merrier. The and more the merrier. Yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> I know. So it won't crash. So that thing won't crash like Rubonic Abu Triple M. No. No. So now it's different in a sense that it's not a pyramid scheme. That's what they say that um, you are able to overtake the person who has joined you. Right. Mm. So if I work hard and join more people, hey. I'm able to go beyond the person so it's all about in, in, in terms of how much I earn now. Okay. They, they have a basic salary. Oh, so yeah. now they tell you that you don't have to work. No, born. just take your money from where you're working and invest in this. Yeah. Right. Now you're investing in knowledge to get knowledge. You're investing in getting knowledge for right. trading while you are as well. Um, doing business in terms oh, of network okay. marketing. Okay. You can come with a triple M. Uh, we're, we're doing. Yes. But it's not triple M. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. You come with it. Banning, banning about betting. Yeah, it's crash now, you know. Yeah. And and banning about color. Education is key. Yes. Let us come to my lady. Um, because patriarchy is is trying to overtake, but then Bogodos will shall <laughs> keep the momentum going. Have you tried forex trading, and how was the experience for you? Yo, yeah, honestly, I was bent hard. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Because I, I, I used the money I got for my work, mm -hmm. mm. and then it was once off salary that it will just keep me on going for a while. Mm -hmm. And then I was informed by a friend, mm. and then I wanted to do quick cash. Mm. And then I just promised my mom to that like, I'm gonna build you a big house. I'm gonna, you know, yeah. I promised a lot of things yeah. because I knew that I'm gonna get that much of money mm. in return. Mm. And then I invested. How much was? How much was? How much I invested ten thousand, and he promised me two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand, you? Yeah. Over what space of time? <laughs> ten thousand to two hundred. Over what space of time? It, it was it? one year, six months. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It was one year, six months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then, trust me, I didn't even get a cent. Bag. I even tried to log in into my account, but I can't. Okay. Still on that, uh, so yeah. we are more. And uh, at <laughs> home as well, give us a call on 113391315. Yeah. Story circle. If mm. Mm. Because let's find out and season. I'm a traders as well. We are after this. <laughs> Thank you.
Celebrity Daily Teta. And look, we're talking about forex trading. It's a familiar word, or the lifestyle on social media. I'm not so sure if I understand the nitty gritties yeah. and the technicalities behind it. All I know is that this is legitimate or not. But you know what? Today we're hoping to get more knowledge regarding forex trading and investing. Forex trading and investments. But speaking of which, Oka Rumela, your voice notes on 0606796835 and Ernale Anonymous on the line, Olungur Onyokor Bucha and Astur Saga regarding Forex. Arque Lendole Moloni Studio, Yebo Lendole Forex Trading or Bitcoin, Ubuto or Biabo Katem, Uten Lendo. Kuten nendo lendo ii iza wenzwa Ako ofisia akondon E e ya zuwayo Aba nduwa zwa beka le lendo ba E se trader and it's like e gambling And lendo le Indo e e e e nze kara Ukabela songe na yu ne send And banins aba ndu beki wa iyo Bara wana lo office Ya aina lo office lenda bali I think kalala bama kuti office aliko Inkinge nkule Alright let's listen to another one Forex trading is not a good thing because it's like you're sacrificing your money on something that you're not sure about. It's like gambling. Mm. When you're gambling, you are not sure whether you will win or you will lose. But at the end of the day, it's whether you lose all your money or you win a lot of money. Okay, so people are worried about this being gambling. Exactly. And in terms of cool, I want to if forex trading is like gambling. Sabora, uh, do you think uh, do you think uh first is <laughs> Yeah, I and your comment about mm. uh, forex trading being uh, ilokuza, e gambling. Mm. Uh, what's your take? Dim tandil last is lobe tetek pakala because at the end of the day, uh, for, uh, at this point in time, sivaka kulunga banda batenga Bitcoin and. Um, even some of my family members were mm. trying to recruit me into Lendo Bitcoin. Mm. But nobody ever actually explains fully by Ndona out Benai information. But actually, this is what it is, and this is how you go about it. Mm. And uh, it's one, they go into these things without a full full perspective yeah. of Bana, what is going to happen, yeah. how is this going to happen. Yeah. And that's why I'm going to tell you that Bana is out. I'm not going to be rough. Because I'm going to be a gold papa. So I'm going to put it on the iPhone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to meet our guests while they're joining us in studio and uh, tell us more about uh, trading because, of course, they're into forex trading. We're going to be joined by Tamsan Lalose and Tobeki Linsam. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This perception that your field is, 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 is illegal, mm -hmm. office, a landline, a website, all you have is a social media page where you recruit people. And this lack of understanding for most people while I'm going to into you know, forex trading. Can you please define for us something like what is forex trading? Hey, mm. um, to, to explain this in a simple way, mm. uh, in the world there's always a bubble, right? Mm. There's always something new that is happening at that time. Uh, currently, forex trading is the most popular business on internet mm. right mm -hmm. and it's so unfortunate that people are misinformed about forex trading yeah. right and they think it's gambling you lose all your money we have a school that teaches people mm. to trade and mm. we preach the one percent rule mm. we risk one percent per trade and mathematically you need to be wrong 100 times to blow your account i know forex is a scam you you lose all your money yeah. if you come to me as my student and you tell me what you've lost all your money. Mm. Yeah. I know you've over leveraged or you've over risked. Doesn't make sense. Mm. So, so there's it's math. My fault. Mm. Yes, there's mm. math behind so trading. I was greedy, maybe. Yes. You were greedy because if you risk 1% per trade, yeah. technically you need to be wrong 100 times in a row, right? And people don't understand. People are misinformed. Let's mm. look at, let's talk about Bitcoin, right? Mm. It's also one of the most popular things right now. You can trade it online, yeah. you can get the information. Bitcoin was as cheap as. $10, now it's trading, it's 2500 2600 right? Mm. It's an opportunity. The world is moving to digital money. Why? Because it's, it's not controlled by any government. It's not controlled right. by anybody. Does that mm. make sense? Mm. Uh, we, it does. I, I feel you. Let, yeah. let me go to you, Tobe Gile. Um, I'm a trader, or I'm a trader. You pay a fee to come mm -hmm. as a trader. Mm -hmm. It's free to trade. 
What's happening? What am I paying for if if Uzong Fundis out trade? Um, basically, what you're paying for, you're paying for the skill, you're mm. paying for the knowledge, you're yeah. paying for the actual softwares that will be utilized when you're actually trading. Mm. So when you pay, depending on whichever company you're actually attending, yeah. um, you'll be paying for the package that they have actually compiled mm. for you to be able to get the actual knowledge. Now, I'm a company, you understand. Mm. Other people, uh, learn in one day, in two days. Yeah. You understand. Other people don't give people support. Mm. So these are the major issues that are actually being engaged. This is why people are very much misinformed. Mm. We preach the 1% rule. Yeah. How many times can you be wrong? Um, that's the question. Yeah. Are you over leveraging? Oh. Um, are you taking risk management the way that you have been taught in class? Mm. Also, obviously, in literally uh, one, two, three, four, five days, mm. you need a mentor. Yes. You need somebody who's going to be there with you. How, long, those how long can I, I master this? To be honest with you, you need around a year for you to actually understand mm. the markets. You need to undergo the emotions. Yeah. You need to undergo each and every uh, segment. In that year, what am I doing? Am I trading or I'm doing uh, just a dummy account? Um, what we always say is, if you're going to be trading alone, mm -hmm. right, we would say to you, start with the demo account. Mm. Make sure that you are actually mastering the skill. Mm. If not, depending on the institution, right? For example, we have Forex Signals as well. Mm. So in our company, what we do is you can follow our knowledge. So whenever we're trading our company money, our personal money, mm -hmm. um, then people can follow whatever we are actually uh, trading. Yeah. So it's all dependent on the structure of that particular uh, company, right. exactly how it is that they... Uh, have structured. Tamar, we'll talk about misinformation yes. and yeah. how, not as a student, I have to take responsibility, but also who is feeding me this misinformation? Because if you're selling me a lifestyle, Yadi mm -hmm. and mansions, yes. obviously you're tapping into my greed, you're tapping exactly. into my desperation, yeah. you're telling me oh, this is an overnight success. I mean, Rome yeah. screen grabber, 120,000 that you got in I, two I minutes, yes. that's misinformation. You don't exactly. tell me about the year, Edding yes. Tobekil is telling me about. So, how do you ensure that you're as realistic uh, and as practical as possible so Lina get like really prepared for potentially losing my money. Okay. Let me tell you my story. I've been trading for the past seven years yeah. full time. That's the only thing that I do. Mm -hmm. So the main problem is money is emotional. And there's a lot of people out there that post things on social media and uh, pretend as if Forex is as easy as APC. So they pretend I've, it? Yeah. Okay. I've been trading for seven years. Okay. I still put in the hours today. I still sleep sometimes three hours per night mm. working on my Forex trading. How right? What do you do maybe per day, roughly, on a good day? It's, if I say exactly how much per day I'm lying, mm. markets are dynamic. Mm. Markets can be in a range which they'll be moving in a predetermined uh, range or they can be trending nicely. Does mm. that make sense? Mm. Just to break it, break it down on national TV, mm, because mm. we've got the opportunity to say this. Yeah. Mm. Forex trading mainly is about supply and demand. Mm. And people out there, if they're listening to this, they must understand it's about supply and demand. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to clarify more yeah. exactly what I mean, but a lot of people are being given softwares mm. just to follow without thinking. Mm. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Mm. It's interesting. And then one thing I need to know, and um, I'm, a, I'm a science that this is not a, a legit guy because everyone on Facebook, mm. we trader and yes. people are writing. Mm. I was making an example, you could see I was in Gateway the other time. I saw a guy who was my friend on Facebook, busy mm -hmm. posting about cars. Yes. Only to find out which was my seven in a valet parking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I'm no hungry. matter, that's a hustler right there. If he can so sell it, it's a parking <laughs> lot. So, who shoots as uncle is So now I'm thinking, oh, this guy who yeah. name Yeah, yeah. So, so how? What, in my my signs are changing. Mm. Guys, these are just a red flags that they don't even go. Pretenders. Okay, I'll say this: you can see whether a person is a trader or not. Mm. Go to my profile on Instagram. Go to my profile on Facebook. Yeah. The only thing that I talk about trading, trading, trading. You won't see lavish cars. You won't see what I want. Yes, I do have a nice car, mm. but I'm very smart. Bought it and auctioned cash because I think in my life. Mm. But mm. you can pick up the fake people by posting food. Uh, but you know what? But the, what if it's their lifestyle? What if it's lifestyle yeah. by I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. if you are a trader, show us the trades. Show us you predicting the markets. I've shot videos yes. on, on, on YouTube mm. telling people mm. what I think the markets will do. Mm. That's how you pick up a trader. But the people that post cars and lifestyle and 
parties all the time. Yeah. You can easily pick up if if someone is not a, a trader by just looking at their Facebook right. profile. Also, a person I believe um, shot because of Skatma. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I was just going to say that also you should be able to post your losers as well. Oh yes. Because remember, mm. you do lose and you do win. So it's not only about winning. In, about winning. Yeah. Also, you should be able to be honest and say, you know what, they are losing days. Yeah. Abaya man pas ogbiza ke hate ajega man Samsung. Yeah, but see. But how na ema le oge ma restaurant. Dinga tu ma post. Se abuya after this. But before this time, there is something coming in from Uncle. Se guabe Elan Scope we skashe zi. Tiba fetu asinga lutoa zinte zifiga zi julen goba zishia kala ego kuras lezi ez tinta imali. Give us a call now on 0113391315 or find us on Facebook, Twitter. Se zutu mo na kuti na pas forex trading lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> okay, lifestyle is show one keeper to wait some forex trading. I don't think Kinetti Hobani. Buff you are talking about rich according to this get rich quick scheme. I think more and how about attractor obviously well, attractor car lifestyle I think instead of the real thing. Forex trading lifestyle for me is fake because I've been trying to trade with Forex also and with that you find a lot of fake people. They do a lot of fraud. Some people there are out. They can do whatever for, for money. So yeah, for me it's fake. Mena i forex trading the wing ibona ngakhona ngilalo lwazi ngalo olungakho ne but siyi ngukuthi kuna abantu abayenza nje la election engibaziyo futhi nami yabona nyabona ukuthi ine potential ukuthi inga improve ama lifestyle swabo because lapha ya I do understand ukuthi uyakwazi ukuthi uyenze imali ngayo le wondlela le yabona so in that way I think ukuthi iyakwazi ukuthi inceda abantu abantu abastope ama ama ukutrader kuma online ukutrader kubantu abangabazi just because of Glamour and whatever, whatever. They just stop as South African I'm a forex trading. No, David, forex trading. You're still watching Daily Tate and Lokonile. We're putting the spotlight on uh, South African forex traders, particularly by Lungor Kebaswa, and they're all over social media, you know, yep. selling a lifestyle um, and also trying to educate more through their trading and workshops. But Felare, Erikiro Ayanda, all the way from Orange Farm, Olungoro, Unyokobla Lerna. Hi, Ayanda. Kyo kano kay papa? Ang kono. Kupo tima inkets sa favor na before trade alin na Artima TV. Kito 2017 ni arut ko le mo phone nung na papa. Kisa ng remote mo asal. Tala. Thanks sandro. Yes, kulo manam. Yeah. Um, since I've been trading now, and it's been two years now. Okay. Yeah. Well, the first time nam when I went to these seminars, ne. Mm. They told me which I'm, I'm going to make um, a million in 20 days. Huh? Wow. From a one rand investment. One rand investment? Yes, but if I could double my account per day, uh, in 20 days I'll be having a million sure. from one rand investment. I'm sure what you know, yeah. Alexis Kai. So mm. the, thing that, the thing that kills most traders, ne, yes. he, it's, it's the mentors, uh, the people who, who are selling mentorship. Because what they want you to do is to, is to, is to pay for their course. And right. So they're selling you dreams, telling yeah. you life, Forex, which is, uh, you're going to make money quick. Mm. While your only Forex itself, it's something legit. It's something that has potential in which you can build a career yeah. out of. So we say you've been doing this now for two years. How are you doing so far? Are you, are you gaining uh, the profits but, and revenues more? Or is it the one million, one run investment? 20, 20 days. <laughs> No, I need to, uh, first time me, um, of course, in Yenga Paisa and found myself losing a lot of money and as to the seventies, uh, I'm a varsity fees one and ended up dropping out of varsity, yeah. uh, for a four sure. uh, It's only, it's only now where, um, the skill has improved and, um, I'm starting to see the results. Okay. Uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, another thing which, uh, for it's, it's it's 80% the skill and 70% psychological. I'm not really sure what the figures are, but the psychology is the, the most dominating factor. Right. Oh, thank if you so you much. If, 
Thanks, Thanks Ayanda. Ayanda. Thanks. Unfortunately, due to yeah. time, we have to cut you off, but we got the gist of your comment. Thank yeah. you. And just stay tuned to the show because we have a lot of traders. Valenko, they'll share some information with you. And Lunga Lingo Lenzi put as well, Mouse Akak on Facebook, Twitter as well, says Tumbona Kutina about this show. And I'm Flange. I see something from Usbu Zulu, which I see in the studio, Guno Raf Wayne, Raf, Guna Makest, Ula Makest Wayne. I'm going to make a little bit of a cousin about Tutti Epi Malgama. Sonia, Simtolile. Ref. Okay, also, 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 cars with Malga Mamma. Ref, uh, as well as selling, I will. Zongi Lentapo, welcome to the couch. Ah, uh, thank you so much for having cool. me. Cool, you will come Mamma, that's good. You will tell me you go to Ufur or Pui Refu in over there. Oh, yeah. Many Refu oh, yes. I need to know is this this one right here? Oh, yeah. If so, let them meet me outside. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, there are many yeah. fake accounts in your name? So many fake so Over many. 100 fake accounts. Oh, yeah. Wow. Till oh. to date on Twitter, on Instagram, on everywhere. WhatsApp groups, everywhere. Sure. Cool, let's yeah. go back to the goalpost now. Yeah. About e trading and forex trading. Yeah. Is it something legit? Forex trading is very legit, mate. And I can uh, attest to that because I've been trading from the age of 16 years. Remember, I don't even have grade 12. Mm. Since grade 9, I've been trading. So you and about I'm to, to just trade? I'm, f I'm a full time trader. I'm not in the forex industry. Mm. Bear in mind, I'm in the forex business. Mm. There's a difference. Okay. <laughs> what, is it, what, what is it different? Well, when what, you're in the forex it? industry, you're talking about trading. Hey, I'm a trader. What, 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 what. I'm saying I'm in the forex business. Mm. Not only do I have to show the lifestyle, I also have to show that I can trade. And at any given time, you can say to me, Ref, trade. I can trade for you. Sure. Mm. And how much do you make per year? Per year. Mm. <laughs> Maybe let's just take it. Maybe let's 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 go. Let's say I'm not my we earning salaries. Maybe let's go on a month because not a year. Yeah, it's a lot. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. I like what one of the traders said earlier on. The trading is dynamic, but I can tell you one thing. I'm doing enough. Uh, to, to, to gain. I mean, you can check. Uh, I came with a fleet of cars just here. I came with seven cars. Just mm. as an entourage. Mm. Gold Bentley, Gold Rolls, uh, everything. Yeah. Just to, to, to intimidate the enemy. Confusing the enemy. Yeah, just to, just yeah. to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zongi, yeah. Yeah. Like, why did you park yeah. outside? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Pa I don't know. It's definitely not a fleet of cars. Yeah. Yeah. You're not confusing any enemy. I am I just know. a journalist. Right. Oh. What, what do you think about Forex you know, Listen, in your field? I can tell you about what I've researched because mm. I've done research. I've spoken to a number of Forex traders. They say it's legit. Mm. But what they don't tell you is it's emotional, this thing. Mm. It's erratic. It's volatile. There are no guarantees. Mm. Right. So if a person sure. says, I can trade now mm. and possibly promise us that he can make money now, mm. it is not a guarantee. And it has been echoed here that it takes time. Yes. It can be years. We spoke to people who've lost 1.6 million rand, wow. 600,000 rand, 60,000 rand. Life savings. Have, exactly. You cash in your pension, you throw it into forex trading, but because perhaps you do not know as much as you should know. Right. Yes. It's highly technical. It's highly technical. Mm. Right. Mm. And so people lose a lot of money, and that is the problem. Yeah. Misinformation. And then, of course, in Dabayama social media lifestyle, yeah. again, and, you know, we spoke to a trader who said um, he knows people who rent private jets to just take a picture in it wow. and then post on social media and say, I'm living the life. I've, I've seen, I've, actually, on, on Facebook, mm. uh, I've seen you uh, um, uh, ref on next yeah. to e private jet. Yeah. Mm. Do you do that as well? I know that broke those people. Remember now they are trying to, to match the lifestyle and they don't understand what is happening. Mm. That I've been trading from the age of 16. So when they see me, they say, ah, let us go. And they lose a lot of money. I saw many of them at the end of July. Yeah. When the guy saw me sitting next to his table, he was calling, calling, calling. Mm. And I said, this guy is wasting his time. Mm. Uh, because what, I, what he's making, going to spend the whole year is, is per annum. I'm going to make it uh, maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I was so shocked. I was, I was very stressed. You know, this guy, come on, yaki, yo, 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 this guy. Mm. And if I have to start doing something, he, he'll get disappointed. Ma so I, I, I left him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Marungo, yeah. I think yeah. it needs to be a, a standing presenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we talk about business, but I wanted to know, Hore, what do you think about fake traders? Because yeah. when I this thing, yeah, Hore, a chelete is not loud. Yeah. It's not flashy. Bill Gates, I can fit a most antenna, I can fit a car, he shots the clap clap. Marwena, it's already low fast, it's already mazaza. Give me a tech, I'm going to lie. Yeah. What do you think, Kakakakakari <laughs> fake traders? No, you know, I've got a very serious problem. Out of just to put this, uh, the excitement aside, ne? Mm. I've got a very serious issue with uh, fake traders, uh, most especially the ones who 
who are even faking my name, using my name, yeah. selling software, things I don't know, you know? Yeah. Uh, because these people are hating our industry. Yeah. Because now they're saying, hey, you know, this thing I can scam. And truth speaking, I've made it. People know me that I grew up in Soweto. I'm I, I, I coming from a poor family. People who know me, I'm talking about now. Hey, hey, Joss, hey, what? But this is okay, Dean, right now. Gold print. What about? But the thing is, they don't know what about. So, where to find the real guys? So, I'm mean, inviting them. Zonia, yeah. Yeah. how do you spot a fake trader? Yeah. Right. What are so, the signs with uh, this is a fake trader? So, yeah. what, when we spoke to the Financial Services Board, right? Yeah. So, if you're a forex trading company and so you are responsible for someone else's funds or yeah. you're using someone else's funds to invest or whatever, you need to be registered because yeah. the FSB it also it, it regulates non-banking financial industries mm. and the forex trading falls under that. However, if you're a forex trainer, okay. that section is unregulated altogether. Wow. So ozoti ngizokfundisa nomalama semi nalawa aweko regulated. Ngobani they're just giving an educational I suppose um, yes, yeah. yes, perspective oh, into trading, yeah, yeah. but are they not necessarily yeah. using your funds? Yeah. So if forex trading where funds are used regulated, got the training is but not. But you're still paying, Zongi. Yeah. People so pay. Your money so, when you, so when you pay, you must right. ask for FSB. Mm -hmm. Are you registered? Yeah. Okay. And then it's in the number of registration. Yeah. Yeah. And right. then we will be able to get offices at his. But if I want to disappear in Mali, I will be able to get you. If we subpoena you, where is the address? All right. Let's just hold it right there. And let's find out if you're on Facebook before you go to an ad break. Or if Forex is the future or else, you will be able to 9 to 5. You will be able to get a 9 to 5. <laughs> I don't know, maybe from zero to five, you lot your corn. So it depends on how much you're willing to gamble. So the amount is not fixed, and it also depends on your mentor, if you've got it, or the broker that you're using. I want to come out with 1.5, and I want to come out with 500 DC. When I come out, so he's investing the money. For the deposit, Alright, welcome back to Celebrity Daily Theater. Real about forex trading. What's going on? What goes into investing into uh, forex trading? Is it similar, you know, to a home club or a JSE investor? Go to shares or maybe we had the savings or the pension or maybe is it something a little different? You need to be making sure you're a lot more careful, Kayona. Because, you know, one of our audience members, he actually studied economics and uh, there was a lot of forex in there, but sometimes theory really practical. Yeah, mm. change. And what you studied five years ago, COVID or wherever, now things have evolved. So, you know, understand what goes into, you know, forex trading. Exactly. And we want to find out as well. Nicolette, uh, welcome to mm. Couch, as well as uh, Tato Brian, let's all uh, San Miguel. Yeah. Guys, let me oh. start with you uh, ladies first. You know, I'm, like, I'm that guy. So, I'll go for a lady. <laughs> no What's your take when it comes to e e e forex trading? Yeah. Like because you advise about as a financial mm -hmm. advisor. Would you advise someone to invest in Mali on a forex trading business? Definitely. Um, I always say two things about forex. Number one, it's not a get rich quick scheme. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's not a scam. Mm -hmm. So you can legitimately make money out of forex. Mm -hmm. But there are obviously different things that you need to then be accounted for when you're trying to trade forex. It's selling money, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a product, you know what your product is. It's not a good If you understand it, they grow a certain season. If they don't grow in that season, you have to do certain things to make them grow. Right? And that's that's the beauty of Forex, yeah. is that you need to understand markets. Yeah. So this idea that people can give you a crash course over two days or three days and then all of a sudden you can trade mm. uh, uh, and uh, uh, because yeah. that thing is below. And also speaking about that, I you to buy the advice, you know, take all your, your money, resign them, benzini, bring your money here True. so that we uh, Mm. Do you think Kolabant and Pele were not fit enough to trade? Anybody who's financially illiterate cannot trade. In, 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 in this country, if you are financially illiterate, you can't do anything. Mm. If you can't understand a simple thing like interest mm. or how the interest rate works, mm. repo rate, how it works, 
if those simple terms but now we're at 16. I, I don't think you're understanding those uh, terms at that time. That's why they call me a genius. No, but you started at 16, eh? No, I'm 22 right now. Mm. 22. Six years experience, yeah. 1995. So, and you didn't even finish school? I didn't finish school. But remember, bear in mind that at the school, at the school I was a top achiever. Mm -hmm. So I was already reading things of grade 12. My principal said, you are better off out of school. <laughs> I want to buy you my car. I want to buy you my car. Tato, Eric, it's a moche. Um, speaking of education, um, I mean, it could be even with some audience members. Katabaya, Kore, I'm thinking about that ordinary, you know, South African koma gaying. Um, olungo mukumwe ha fortunate enough kuba genius or tonali ref or hatsebe sokuwa or mukumwe or interested kaho improve pula bangere bad. Lochisha di these jargons, interest, repo rate, ingi kimanzu amagolo. How do you Simplify those terms. Or the Hono resonates. Hello, Mutolong, Okorae, Ulibele, Chonaben, the show. Good morning to the listeners. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing that you need to do is find internet. Internet is one platform that will help you, whether you're educated or not, mm -hmm. or going or not. Mm -hmm. Because on the internet, you can just quickly Google, mm -hmm. put in a search investment. It will define what an investment is. You'll understand, or let's say, for example, an investment, it's an action or a process of trying to make a profit. Mm. So the way to go is the internet. I would say go and research and understand these financial terms. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Marla Fikalina, I mean, if, if you are rude, uh, the trainers, I'm not sure if you, tra you do you train I as well? I also do, do Marla Fikalina, more because I mean, internet sometimes so is the yeah. challenges of, you know, yes. the digital divide. Yeah. Yes, when we do training, the basic thing that we do is obviously teach people the, 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 the jargon that we use, okay. mm. you know, the terminology that we use in the yeah. financial space. I mean, most importantly, you know, trading is all about economics. Mm. So a lot of people mm. don't understand what's economics. Yeah. Yeah. People don't go to varsity. People don't go to tertiary or, you know, they're not taught, mm. you know, what is, what is um, this, this, this trading. So I would recommend that, you know what, let the people go to varsity. I would recommend an institution like Gibbs. You know, they offer trading courses so that you understand what is trading. Mm. 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 And, and, and speaking about that, let me come back to you, Raf, because uh, we're now uh, dropping out a scholar. And was there any pressure of understanding this mm. terminology and understanding the whole platform or was it was for this without even uh, having to, to go internet route or do anything mm. to us like to Ugul to, Kulis? To, to, to no, I was very fortunate. I was mentored by uh, one of the traders, very well known at that time, although he passed away in 2014, David Schwartz, a bank mm -hmm. trader, and he had a, a very serious background in trading Forex. Yeah. And then he taught me because, uh, by the way, I also program. So I also have a lot of, um, I can say, expert advice or robots that I've developed. Mm -hmm. So he taught me trading so that I can develop software for him to make it auto make it. So when people talk about trading, they don't know that I know even the behind the scenes. So I know both of the sides. So now mm -hmm. I had a very serious advantage and the terminology, I had to understand it. But now when I come to see, I said, no, actually the colloquial or the jargon of forex trading is not really that important anymore. Mm -hmm. The practicality mm -hmm. is that what you should focus on because now I want to talk about now the market is bearish, the bullish, but you, you don't have any money. Mm -hmm. You're broke. Yeah, and you know how I've got this one. You know, I've got a But it's got nothing. We have well food. Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. right. So I don't have the time. So now I want to teach you this uh, colloquial, the jargon, but don't focus a lot That's in it. And I guess you how to charge you for your list. Ah, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't charge any. It's anyone. for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come all up to the show. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 do, you, do, you, do, do you charge for that? No, I don't charge. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Knowledge is free. Okay. All right. I didn't mean to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what we're talking about on Facebook. And I'll let Mashaylo. Or I lost two hundred and ten thousand rands invested on Pipcoin. Promised thirty-five percent interest. I've been to Ref Wayne's office. He kept on promising to pay, but moved the oh. office. Where's your office? <laughs> but it is not. It, it, I'll explain it. Okay. Now this explain. person is talking about Pipcoin, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, Trading. Mm. Today we're talking forex trading. Now there is something called Bitcoin mm. and Pipcoin. Yeah. I'm, I'm also talking about them. I'm also one of the people who uh, I can commercialize the, uh, Bitcoin trading in South Africa. Mm. So when I came last year, I said, guys, there's something a product that is very powerful called Pipcoin. Mm. Mm. Now Pipcoin is a uh, digital currency. Mm. These are coins like Bitcoin. Like Tell me said something. Epic yeah. Tell me said something earlier on. Yeah. At one stage, Bitcoin was at ten uh, at ten dollars. Yeah. Now it's at two thousand five hundred rand. So when you buy coins, I say to you, this is a good investment portfolio for you. And then maybe the prices of the, let's say for now I buy a coin of mm. Bitcoin, $2,500, 25,000 rand. And then when you buy, because of lack of, I uh, like what uh, she was saying earlier on, eh? mm. uh, people must have financial literacy. 
things fluctuate, supply and demand. Mm -hmm. If you buy Bitcoin and 25,000 rand, tomorrow is at 15,000 rand. Did you lose money? No, you didn't lose money. It just went down. You but must, do you explain you that You must way? wait. They don't want, they're going to know, hey, man, you fucking mad. You because you bought <laughs> coins. And you call it, oh, no, 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 no. No, I, I, that, and you know, somebody said it earlier on, Jorge, mm. this game is a, it's an emotional game. Yeah. So what he's that explaining is, is that you, if, if you think you are making a loss today, it can turn around at any time. It's because just the other day, we see Sam Kwebani said that no, it's not a mandate, the Reserve Bank, mm. and you saw what the rent did. Yeah. Mm. It literally it planned it. Mm. So, but it came back up. Mm. You know, Malusuki Gaba came on TV, said a few words here and there. Investors got a bit of confidence, and the rent picked up again. And mm. that's the thing loss. about about trading. It's mm. not a loss yeah. at that time. Mm -mm. But because we're mm. emotionally, so get back to Rafika yeah. well, understand. They come to the offices. Mm. Um, when I came to touch the money, which man did you deposit in my account or where? No, but you told us to. This girl, no. So, so he didn't move. No, he didn't move offices. Exactly. Right? So, ah, no, so you didn't did move offices. Okay. I didn't move offices. Yeah. Oh I didn't move offices. By the way, I said to people, if I was a scam artist in South Africa, I'm one of the controversial forex traders. Mm. I'm always all over the cars are gold. You can always just stop me there. I mean, come. Yeah, come again. I've got what? I've got what? I've got what? So, like, I can stop you. Uh, you can stop me. I'm one of the most humble people you can find on the street. I can start stop you for five so hours. The, but in short, and he's saying are, that yeah. uh, to those who, who bought my coins, they must hold on to them. They think that it's called, you know, in forex trading, I'm maybe I'm with the experts. I've got the experts. Uh, <laughs> there's something called a floating loss yeah. and a floating profit. Yeah. It is not, even when I'm making money, ne? Mm. like right now, I've got bitcoins. Ne? Until I sell them, I've made profit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, you can But if you know, you can or the comment that you can see on Facebook or on as well, or you can WhatsApp, so you can see the same thing. So, you can see the same thing. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, we're almost at the end of our program. Lokhonile wrapping up uh, forex trading and some of the misconceptions. They want to get rich quickly. Yep. This is just gambling and also understanding information. And how do you trust your mentor as well and identify a mentor? Let's go back to social media and then just find out. We have uh, a tweet there from uh, Marwani or a daily teta. They just asked where his office is and he dismissed the question. Rev. <laughs> Hashtag, where is the office? Where's the office? No, yeah. the offices are the three branches. Uh, if you're in Cape Town, you can go to uh, what is Observatory. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in Soweto, you can go to Molapo Office Park. You can see there it's written JD Funerals. It's there. JD uh, Funerals? JD, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Opposite, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey? Uh, 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 yeah, okay. okay. And okay. then. Uh, We've got one in Reimser, in right. Reimser office park, yeah. Okay. And I did not shift offices, by the way, we are renovating. Please come back uh, for the launch. Uh, the one who said I ran away, please, you'll tell us more. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, going yeah. forward, as we see, Cecil Vala, just tell us, I'm just going to go to the city. Because I said, easy to go to the city. I'm not going 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 to go What are some of the things that officers at Inch, especially, in uh, Aguas, would you understand and see the culture of traveling? Mm -hmm trying to get rich fast and, and quick? Uh, people must understand that making money is hard. Mm -hmm. You have to be dedicated and patient. Yeah. And when it comes to trading, diversification. Mm -hmm. You can't put all your money in one place. Mm -hmm. Like diversify, like uh, a portfolio should include, yes, securities, it should include alternatives, real estate, and things like that. Mm. So people just identify one way and think that's the only way. And w what Warren Buffett always says, he says he doesn't invest in anything he doesn't understand. Wow. If you don't understand it, if no matter how many people try to explain mm. it, don't put your money in it. All right. Well, yeah. I want to come back to this side and also talk to our audience members. And are you, are you a trader or have you tried trading before? Uh, my name is Ruben Zime. No, I'm not a trader and I haven't yeah. thought of trading before. So with all the, uh, uh, everything that's been said, yeah. are you going to trade today? I are mean, you convinced? I'm definitely uh, convinced because it shows for, uh, especially if you have knowledge about most of the information effects we share on this platform, it shows for uh, the relevant people by long for uh, they can teach you how to follow the instructions in a in a very constructive way. Mm. Especially the ones by never said or even emotions wise. Right. You do get involved at least now. Okay. The whole of South Africa do know uh, even emotion wise. They you count can get, as well, ne? Yeah, you can get help okay, through cool. that. Please pass it to Zongi. Zongi. Mm. 
the closing shots, please. Yes. Um, I think we can't divorce this discussion from desperation. Oh. If we're talking about unemployment <laughs> at its highest since mm. 2003, mm. and we're speaking about three quarters of the middle class being financially stressed, mm. then you, there's no surprise then that people are looking for ways that they can financially relieve themselves. Mm. However, I think what we're getting here is knowledge is number one. Yes. Get that knowledge mm. before you put in that money. Thank you so much. You know, Zoe, Usa Kuluma about that as well. Abantu abamnya abagi tini tala ba tespeti ngakona ngi ngazo muni kala guti. We need at least one pyramid ni ananje. Nzo posa gabil masai vaya nzo besing sharp. Yaba. We ask us guti. It's not gonna last, but that means nzo far gabil and then masai sugi pano nzo besing sharp. So yeah, it's tough. That's the desperation right there. Moving forward, when especially for young people, about vulnerable, gullible, they they I think instant gratification is it's an area lingo rudula moyo na on social media. What would you advise? Be. Look, my advice to the youth is money is about understanding it, mm. you know. Um, I learned a simple philosophy that you look after the rents, mm. you know, they look after the, the, the hundreds, they look after the thousands. Mm. You know, start small, you know. Don't want millions tomorrow, you yeah. know. Mm. The problem with us is we don't understand, even, even if I was to ask a couple of people right now, what is your risk portfolio? You don't even understand. Mm. Am I a high risk taker? Am I a medium? Or am, am I a small yeah. risk taker? You know, so you need to understand yourself and start small. You know, make small money and you'll have billions one day. Absolutely. But the problem is we all want billions. Absolutely. I, I think the most important thing that we need to remember is that forex trading is a business. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to treat it like a business, mm -hmm. it's not going to work mm -hmm. for you. So if you're looking at Facebook or Instagram, or one of the or one of the private jet, or one of the ingings, you know what battle, you battle tomorrow. It's a problem. It's not going to work. But what are the alternatives briefly to Look, forex as well? There are many alternatives. There okay. is the stock, say stocks that you can trade. All right. There is, as you said, real estate. I, I, I buy real estate. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're not going to see me on social media, I can say, apartment it's like mm. decay everywhere because i understand for buying a, a real estate is not just something i wake up and i'm like yo it's it's a process. Process. Mm. i understand mm. and that's the thing that people need to understand because maybe for like the product mm. it can just happen overnight oh. yeah what about what about Rafael Abanta but in, uh, you guys always uh, shoot uh, my screenshots where you are making money but you don't shoot where you are losing money mm. do you think it's important to broadcast our losses work as well uh, yeah actually uh, i'm a different kind of a trader because it, at one stage i do also have live trading sessions mm. where i invite people you know, come and see uh, live live facebook i give people say buy you do this due to this analysis that i've done and by the way this thing of posting thing uh, and i want to clarify it now i do it because of what i want to inspire the black child oh, that is possible well, of course, that's how we come to the end of our program. Thank you so much for joining us. Hoping you've learned a lot. Share your thoughts on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Would you trade now? Are you convinced or do you still feel like you, there's so much more that you still need what to do? What about you? I'm going to for the next 10 years. And then I'm going to trade for the next 10 years. But thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good day,